Hi, it's me again with Corel Raw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file. I think this is like number three or four in the series. I can't reduplicate that. I don't know how they did it. I got close, but I've, I've got some outer circles and have some half circles. And then I did this with a macro that's pretty cool, and I could get rid of these circles that are inside and outside by, I could have contoured. But then I came up with this, and you're not going to want to do it, but if you just had one letter to do, this would work. I mean, it's pretty cool. Well, there's a few that could be moved around, but I did it with the blend and the contour tool. So I'm going to take this R. I picked this R because it might be a little bit, well, it's going to be definitely easier than that R. And I am going to go and I'm going to contour to the inside five times, 0 0.05. And then I'm actually, if you wanted to ever do this, you could use the Smart Fill tool and you could fill that part in and that part in and maybe contour it later. Now we're going to go up to object and we're going to break the contour apart. And we're actually going to grab everything and we're going to go to object and we're going to ungroup it. Now I want to take the center one out and I'm going to nudge it over many times. The next one, whoop, I'm on top of that one. I might not have nudged over far enough. Well, we can nudge this guy over and then nudge this one over. Let's nudge this one up, over. And so what I'm doing, I'm putting an order of size. So let's move on. And don't, you need to make sure you don't move them separately. Now, I think I've already converted them to a curve. So if you will open up Docker and just go to Windows Docker property, this curve is 1453. This one, I'm going to have to write these down, 1469. How is that bigger? 1469, 1484. I'm going to go and write it down. It doesn't make sense. Maybe just because of the shape. I don't know. 1507. And you're not going to want to do this. 1455 and 1319. Okay, I'm going to have two dots, so I'm going to lower them all. 1451, 1467, 1482, 1505. I don't need to. I can do that in my head when I'm doing it. So now what we need to do is find my two little dots, which I don't know where I put them. Uh, I might have deleted them. I'll just grab two dots from here. This is the size I want. Whoop, I've got them grouped together. Go to group. And it really, if this does not interest you, please don't watch it anymore. It is a kind of a cool, full, uh, cool process, but it's, it's really way out there. And it's not going to work perfectly. So now what I want to do is I'm going to take those dots and zoom in and I'm going to, I'm going to hit T just to put them kind of in line. And then I'm going to hit control D and duplicate it. And then I need a, I need a set for each one and they're going to be putting them across the board. Now I'm going to take these two. We're going to close all these dockers and open up the blend docker. And I'm going to go to effects and blend and I'm going to blend um, well, I need to, I need to do some math. So, uh, 14.51 divided by 0 0.05, which is twice the distance of a deal. I need 290 of them minus two. So I need 289 blends. I'm just going to do a couple of these, I promise you. So just stay tuned and you'll see what it looks like. Blend a path. Blend along full path, apply. Now, if you look, we have dots. Like I said before, you will not want to do this. So now I've got uh, get 14 points. I'll do, I'm going to do three of them. 14.69 divided by 0 0.05. 293 minus 2 is 291. 
You know why that's more? 291. Blend along or grab the. Please don't watch if you this doesn't interest you. I know it's got to be boring, but it is pretty cool. We'll do one more. This length is. Uh, this is the one that was more. So I'm gonna just blend it the same. Um, apply, blend along new path, blend along full path. I'm gonna do one more, just so you can kind of see it. This one was. I'm gonna make it the same because it's actually it's actually longer. Maybe the curve is just longer. Blend along new path. Blend along full path. Okay, now we need to go and we need to, I didn't do that last one. I'm gonna go select them all. I'm gonna go break the 20 objects apart. I need to get rid of my lines. So I'm gonna zoom in, grab my line. I'm not gonna delete, I'm gonna just nudge it down. And then I'm gonna zoom in on that one. Try to grab the line, nudge it down. Zoom in on that one. I'm using the wheel of the mouse, which I should do all the time. Nudge it down. Okay, now I need to control G. Control G, which I'm grouping them together. So when I nudge them back, all right, we need to nudge this one over once. Nudge, nudge this over twice. Nudge this over three times. Now, that doesn't look half bad. There's a few that are messed up, but you could grab it all, go up to effects, and ungroup all, which I normally don't do. I normally just ungroup. And then you could actually move some of these around. And, you know, I'm, like I said, don't do this unless you just have one letter to do. If you have more than one letter, you're going to go bunkers. There's just a few, I don't know where those came from. Oh, that was my other two blends. That's not bad. Um, you know, just a really and truly, there's a couple of doubles. Um, and you could either delete them. You know, you'd want to delete them and maybe move that one up a little bit. That's not really that bad. Now, if we take this and nudge it up, and actually that's the wrong size because it's a, anyway, you get the point. Uh, if somebody knows how this is done, I doubt if it's inside of Corel. It might be in another program. I would love to know about it. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.